Salutations, it's your old power revenge creature. I'm back. <laughs> well, it's been a few days since I made a video, and I'd like to apologize for that. It's just been kind of hectic, and I've been doing house cleaning and some other stuff. And uh, But now, dang it, I'm ready to get back to work on videos. And um, the first one today is going to be a sort of a flea market haul, what I got recently, flea dog contribution kind of thing. And so let's get started without any further ado do. The first up, now this may not be too exciting to too many people. It's a juice glass, just a simple little diner juice glass, no company name, just some cool, um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it's ridged kind of on the inside. It's like each, it's like flat, 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 flat. Anyway, that's kind of a neat little glass for drinking the juice of an orange. And our next item is this strange colored Batmobile. It's the 1989 version of the Batmobile, only it's done in a chrome silver with yellow highlights and yellow on the wheels. Now, although this art shows it black, it's actually chrome. So I don't know if there's two versions of this car or what, but uh, I love this Batmobile. And so I went ahead and picked up this version of it. Why not? And speaking of die cast and the cinema, we have another famous movie car. It's the Back to the Future DeLorean. Back to the Future 2, actually. You can see the wheels are folded down. Wow, that is really not focusing, is it, guys? Sorry about that. Anyway, here's the Mr. Fusion. Whoops. Right there. So there's your DeLorean from Back to the Future 2. Pretty cool. Not awful. Um, Here's a strange friend. A little black pig this is from uh, Fisher Price Little People and I had I think it came with a barn I don't know but I'm sure I mean I know I had this as a kid his head rotates and his little hawk legs move H-O-C-K not H-A-W-K never heard of a pig hawk heard of a chicken hawk though oh did I get another Lego style Batman figure I did it's Batgirl Eh, kinda. I mean, she's got a black outfit, but a purple cape and red hair, close enough. It's uh, Yvonne Craig Batgirl, as far as I'm concerned. So you know where she's gonna go? Up there. With, or not up there, but up there. Anyway, <clears throat> so uh, let's jump into Star Wars. I got a Star Wars figure. This is a contribution from Flea Dog, actually. Um, was over at that uh, installation recently, and playing Nintendo, eating pizza, and picked up fx7 and uh his head doesn't stay up but you know what i don't mind um all of his little arms work and uh i had this guy as a kid and the first thing that happened to him was this little rubber arm here broke off because see it rotates let's let, let, let's rotate it here it rotates see it's rotating <laughs> the whole body's rotating but really it's supposed to be this anywho Mom broke off. Um, so he's a medical droid. If you've seen Empire Strikes Back, you know, he's the 1980. Um, he was one of the first figures released from Empire Strikes Back, I believe. Anywho, um, I always thought this was a cool figure. I feel like I got him at Keister's, which was a local uh, hardware store that also had a pretty cool toy department. And it was kind of a chain because I think there was more than one. I know there was one in this next town or the next state over <clears throat> where the Toys R Us is that I go to. Um, because, and they used to have these commercials, only Santa has more toys than Keisters, and when I was a kid, I'd be like, wow, then Santa must not have any toys, because they had a small toy department, or at least in my opinion, they did, I mean, but I was a kid, whatever, I still got a lot of cool stuff there. Let's go on to another toy line that I collect, and this is a, um, few years back, uh, this is a Transformers Generations, um, hoist. Um, he's based off the, uh, gener uh, the Generations or Classics uh, Trailbreaker mold. Um, and this is a representation of the 1985 character by the same name. He's a green tow truck, and I'm not really going to transform him because this is a quick video before I go to work. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I was still alive and show you some cool stuff 
that I got. So here's hoist. <clears throat> and see, I've got the generation, or not the generations. I've got the Combiner Wars. See, uh, this was the same, this guy and hoist shared a mold back in the 80s. Um, but I chose to get this version of hoist and this version of Trailbreaker. And so they don't have the same molds. And so they're kind of, you know, I don't know. Um, it always kind of bugged me when they reuse the same mold over and over again. I'm not going to walk back over there. <laughs> At least not till after the video's over. All right. And the last thing that I have to show, actually I actually have four items. I got some vintage Joes, folks. And I'm not talking about 25th or Rise of Cobra or 30th or 50th or any of that. I mean vintage Joes. And the oldest one I got was the 1984 Spirit, Spirit Iron Knife, uh, Charlie Iron Knife, I think was his real name, um, and he's complete, he's in great shape, no loose limbs, as you can see, he's got uh, Spirit, his eagle, he's got, Freedom is the eagle's name, he's got his rifle, whoa, rifle, he's got his backpack, he's got his uh, little Indian um, ceremonial skirt there, um, then I have Mainframe. He's the Joe's computer specialist. And he's got his very large computer laptop thingy and some kind of uh, analytic tool and a backpack. Is it going to focus if I even try to do this? Eh, it doesn't want to focus on the little things. That's good though. You know, if you focus on the little things, it, you tend to drive yourself crazy. Um, I got one Cobra, two Cobras, but one vintage Cobra. Uh, Dr. Mindbender, and I didn't really get a good look at his cape, and eh, the cobra symbols kind of wore off, so I'll probably get another Dr. Mindbender eventually, because also, you really can't tell, but his nose is missing, or it's kind of ground down, like, <clears throat> the old joke, my dog has no nose, how does he smell? Awful. And finally, I got the Cobra Laser Trooper. Now, this is not a vintage figure. This is from 2000, sometime between 2002 and 2003. Um, they were releasing a, a Joe style figure, O Ring style figures. And um, this is sci fi, the 1990, 91 sci fi figure, the Joe figure, repainted. Cobra body and an all new sculpted head. Um, and he even comes with sci fi's laser and backpack. But uh, this is kind of a cool figure. I appreciate the. Well, Burt Reynolds, what are you doing over there? Um, I appreciate the uh, color scheme. I love things that are like just all blue with a little bit of red for Cobra. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's a really cool figure. And that pretty much wraps up this episode of Flea Market Finds. Um, what I got, flea dog haul, etc., etc. Well, I thank you for watching this video. Just a little catch up video, let you know, guys, what I got recently, and that I'm still going to be making videos. And it was just a short break so I could get a few house cleaning chores done and catch up on a few things around here at RCR headquarters. Thanks for watching. Um, please be sure to check out my next video, which will be coming later tonight. Um, and then we'll be back to daily videos. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment. Feel free to share these around. Uh, get the word out. And uh, like I said, I'm back to making daily content. So I appreciate your patience in the interim. Without any further ado, I'm going to let you get back to what you're doing. As always, I'm Revenge Creature, and you know how we do it. The style of Asquinoxo! Come on, hang on, come on, come on, come on.